Hello Aries, how are you doing? Thanks for joining this small tarot. You know how we roll. <laughs> How's everyone doing this morning? I'm doing good, I'm doing wonderful. Thanks for asking. I love you all so very much. Thanks for joining the channel, just small tarot with Lauren, okay? If you are new here, please like, share, and subscribe. We would be grateful. Um, I would be grateful for you to do so. If you feel the camera kind of moving and shaking a little bit, <laughs> it's because it's actually on my table. I kind of like this view. I want to work with it for a bit. So I'm going to see how this goes, okay? And see how jolly it goes. All right, yeah. Let's kind of see. How good it goes here. Okay, see if you guys can see it better. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys. I don't know what the. I don't know what the hell. Okay. Uh, how's everyone doing so today? I hope you all are doing well. Okay. I got um some energy around um. All I hear is changes coming, okay? And that's beautiful. Here's my clarifying deck, of course. I'm gonna take some kip around. I hear changes coming, okay? And someone's not liking the change. Whether that be you, Aries, or that be someone that you're dealing with. But they're not they're not they're not liking this change here that's going on, okay? They just don't like it. They're not very uh, happy about it, whatever. Okay, high honor the first thing that came out. I believe that also came out for, um, Taurus, I believe. Yeah, I think that, well, so you could be dealing with a Taurus, or you could be a Cusper. Uh, let's see. So what do we have? What do we have here for my beautiful Aries? Remember, this message did not resonate with every single one of you, okay? And that's all right. Please stop going to channel the channel thinking that everything needs to resonate and making things fit that don't fit, okay? You end up hurting your own heart. Gosh, this is so crazy because Taurus had the same two cards, high honor and bad health, but high honor was in this position and I believe bad health was here. Wow, so you could be dealing with a Taurus or you could be an Aries Taurus Cusper. Either way, I just think it's always amazing how, um, you know, certain messages all come out. We have community at the bottom of the deck. Okay. We have community here at the bottom of the deck. Alright, so so far I'm seeing two nines. You might want to check that out. I see three ones, okay. I see three ones and then maybe three three, okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, Aries, there's been, uh, you're being, um, very much respected. The community is starting to see you. And I don't mean a community like a whole neighborhood or, you know, it could be. You could be from a different background, you know, you might not be from this, uh, you know, you might not have slaves in America, but hey, you're still, you're still my love, okay, you're here, you're still mine, you're still mine, the bottom of the deck, we got the two of cups, you got something coming in for you, okay, and there's something ending, because something new is beginning, alright, Aries, okay, I'm getting the vibes. I don't know why I don't give a fuck. I don't know why I'm getting that. I'm getting that vibe. By the way, if you're new here, I do curse. And I do have my children sometimes. So they come in and, you know, mom. And, you know, my daughter right now is sleeping right here next to me. And for whatever reason, she sleeps through my readings. I decided to move my desk and stuff. And uh, she has a fan on, so you might hear some noise. All right, so what I'm going to do is, Aries, I'm going to go on ahead and kind of, uh, I want to I wanna look at these cards here. I want to clarify them, okay? All right, Spirit, what do we have for a community for Aries? 
Okay, we have children in the reverse. What do we have for high honor for Aries? True love in the reverse. What do we have for a message of concern? What's here for a message of concern? Love yourself first in the reverse. What do we have for coffin here, Spirit? What do we have for coffin? Get to know each other. Okay. What do we have for bad health? Give your relationship a chance. Okay. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have stay optimistic about your love life. Then we have let your friends help you. Then you have separation in reverse, reconciliation in reverse. Someone's wanting to reconcile with you, okay? All right. And this person in the past, um, Aries, did not want to have children with you because of the simple fact, the community. They were worried about what others would think, okay? Maybe back then, way back when, you might have had a situation where this person didn't feel like you were good enough to shine upon the community with them. Yep, false person right underneath that. Do you see this, Aries? Yep, look at that. You were dealing with somebody that was false. Somebody that was just a bit of a... A dickweed. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it as I see it. Okay, so, um... Yeah, this person, uh... You might have wanted to have a family with them. You wanted the community to actually... Or for you to be seen by the community with this person. Aries, and this person was kind of shunned. Okay, they didn't really take you out places. They didn't, weren't, you know, very expressive about how they felt blah, blah, blah. They were kind of closed off to having children at the time. Um, whether this person told you this or not, this is what I'm saying, Aries, and maybe you're not aware of it, but this person was afraid to have children with you for the simple fact they're afraid of what the community was going to say. Maybe you didn't have the, le the, the Lexus that they needed you to have. Whatever. I already feel off top this person is fucking superficial. They're false anyway. Okay, you could be dealing with, um, Male or female, please understand, I don't do gender here. Aries, okay, now we're going off into the high honor. High honor has true love in the reverse, okay? It says, this is a this is, is, this is the true, this is the romance of a lifetime, and it's in the reverse under high honor. You are being respected now. Suddenly, things have been changing for you. You have been, come, be, you've been becoming something that you did not see coming you have optimistic you were optimistic optimistic sorry guys um, about your about what was going on in your life because for a while uh aries you were down you were down on yourself you were down on the situation whoever the f this is this person is very very uh regretful very regretful i can feel it through the cards right now you're being respected by a lot of people and you don't even know it aries Okay, whether you know this or not, there are people that do respect you. Okay, they see you being respecting. They they respect you because you respected yourself. You got out of a situation. Somebody was wanting to fuck around with the whole entire community. So you guys couldn't have children. Spirit didn't make it to where you and this person could have children with each other. Okay, some of you may have to have children with them. I'm not saying you just don't. I'm just saying that many of you, maybe that's why we're children's in the reverse. You knew that this person was just not going to... The, the Spirit had a reason for it. The community saw it too. Okay, I don't know I don't know who that's for, but remember, every message is not going to resonate with every single one of you. So please take what is and leave what is not for you. Don't make your life complicated because you see these cards here. This may, not be your, this may not be your situation and you'll go and make it a whole big thing for nothing, okay? I'm looking at my damn my phone. I don't know why this makes no sense. It just gets darker. Okay, so I hope you guys can see. All right, so the true love is in the reverse, okay? Because this person's seeing you being respected. They see you being loved. They see you being valued. They want to make sure your true love does not come in, okay? Now, Aries, the more time you spend thinking about this individual and how things didn't work out, your true love is not going to stick around. For some of you, you already have this person in your life. And this ex of yours is trying, somebody in your past that you've ended it with, this false ass fucking person doesn't want you to have true love. They, they, they already see you being respected by others. And they see a true love that you have 
respecting you. They know someone's going to respect you and give you what you deserve. They don't want you to have that. This is in the reverse. True love. Okay? Is someone wanting to try to come in and take that? Okay? That they, they want to. They're fault. They're a false person. First off, you must used to think used to put this person on the high pedestal. Aries, I don't know what the fuck for with all these cards like this, but now I think you see because you've done distanced yourself from this individual. Okay, message of concern has love yourself first in the reverse. This says your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. Message of concern. Someone wants to send you a message. My dear Aries, they want to send you a message because they're starting to become concerned about the situation, about how far apart you are growing, how they're not feeling your energy, how you're being respected by the community now, okay? And they didn't want to have children with you before. They didn't want to have this big family with you before. They didn't want to put, you know, I don't know. I just feel like this person was dealing with other people. So they kept you away from the community. This person was childish too. I'm getting that with this children in the reverse. Yeah, with the community. They're very childish. And the community knows. Your community, whatever people that you guys hang around knows is this person's childish. But this person wants to send you a message, Aries. Because they don't want you loving yourself. They're concerned. Oh my God. You can't love yourself. It says love yourself. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. This person doesn't want you to become attractive to anyone. They want to keep you for themselves. So they're going to send you a message. And if they don't send you a message, they're going to sit and wait. And they're wanting to see when you're going to send one. Somebody here is concerned. They're starting to get like really, really a panic. Like a panic attack. I don't know why I feel panic attacks so strongly. Someone wants, they want to feel like you are still around. Because when you were with this person, when you would send messages to this person, when you would drift away a little too far, Aries, this person would send you a message acting as if they were concerned or, you know, just wanted to see how you were doing just to make sure that they still had you in their pocket. You're being respected now. And this person's very concerned about it. It's making them feel they're, they're, they're spiraling out of control. And I don't know where that even, that, that word came from because I don't even use that shit. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Coffin. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This is why this ended. This is why this needed to end with this other person from your past. This is why you needed to close this out. This is why you have transformed. This is why you've been going through these changes, Aries. You might feel a little bit displaced. You might feel a bit like, um, why the fuck is all this happening? Why do I keep thinking about this for... Why this? You know, sometimes it doesn't It doesn't have anything to do with spell work, but sometimes it does. When you know that you're not supposed to think about somebody so heavy, and like some of you might have been gone away from this person for maybe a couple years, maybe a decade. I don't know. Everybody's story is different. But this person is very concerned about this ending that you guys are having. The community is starting to respect you. They're concerned about the ending, so now they're feeling anxiety. They're not sleeping and all this and that. Again, watch what I say and follow. The community is respecting you. Somebody's concerned about the ending that you guys had, so now that they're, they feel regret. They feel remorse. They feel, you know, oh, I can't sleep. Oh, my God. Aries is doing so well, blah, blah, blah. This person is just... I don't, I'm sorry. They just they they chase things that are pretty. They chase things that are nice. They chase things that are like, oh my gosh, like a toddler. This person is childish. I don't know why I'm getting that too. Okay, and you have to make sure that after you, no matter if this person's concerned about this ending between you and them or not. I mean, if you want to continue with this person, let this person that you're trying to get to know go. You need to let them go if you're going to go back to this person here, because it can't mix. You can't have it both ways. I don't know why. For some of you, you need to hear that. Because everybody's starting to respect you now and stuff. The community is seeing you in a different light. I don't care if they're not speaking or saying it. I'm getting here in my cards, really, and I feel intuitively. People are respecting you because you respected yourself when you ended it with this person here. But this person's going to come back with a big old message because guess what? This ending, they don't want this to be over. And this coffin is not in the reverse. I do read these in reverse, and none of them came out reverse. But don't forget about this, Aries, this false-ass motherfucker that's sitting over on the sidelines watching with that fan next to their damn mouth because they probably got a herpes bump on their lips somewhere or something. This motherfucker's false. They, they mess with the community. They show the community like they're this and that and like they're, you know, they're, oh, feel sorry for me. This person hurt you, Aries. I don't know why I'm getting that. 
this person hurt you and they hurt you bad and you fucking walked away from this motherfucker. That's what happened. And they're mad. They are mad. Not just mad. I mean, they are pissed. And this concern coming up here is just not, oh, I'm concerned. I need to make sure Aries is doing fine. No, it's concerned because, oh, Aries is blowing up. They're getting the respect they deserve from our community or from people we know. So what am I missing out on? Oh, my gosh. They can't love themselves. I, I got to get back in. No, the true love can't be here now. No, no, no. Because they're in high honor. They're in high regards. I need to make sure this true love is out the way. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Can't love yourself right now, Aries. No, you can't. I'm sorry, I gotta step in and I'm concerned because I don't want you loving yourself because when you do, it makes you more, rent, more more romantically attractive and now you're having options. Now I'm concerned about this ending. Now I'm concerned. Uh-uh, I'm concerned about this ending and I don't really want you to get, I don't really want you to get to know this person that could possibly be your true love, okay? Because with respect, you're gonna have true love. You're gonna have somebody that comes in and just sees you for who you are. Some of you have dealt with this person before you started getting this respect, before these people started seeing you in this in this light. And this person is concerned about that because they didn't want to give you that time of day. They wanted to be false. Okay? They wanted to be false. They wanted to pretend that they wanted marriage. Some of you are married. Okay? This person wants to be the main person in your life. This was the same message I was getting for Taurus. I don't know who's dealing with Taurus here. You might have it in your chart strong or something. But I was getting the same thing. And they didn't want to go down the pathway. That's in the reverse too. They didn't want to go down the correct pathway. They didn't. This person's fake as shit. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. You're fake as shit. Okay, if you don't like what you're hearing, then start. Get out of this energy then. The truth sucks, but goddamn, why would you want to be a false person? Why, why, the, I can't, you know, Aries, for some of you, this person thought this shit was going to work, okay? This person thought that they were going to be able to keep you hidden while they, while they dance along with other people and not loving yourself, and they didn't want your true love to ever come in. They didn't want respect for you and your true love to come in. That's not their, that's not, that's not going to serve them. Now we have the bad health here and underneath give your relationship a chance. Now this person wants to come in and try to make things right with you. And that's in the upright, okay? Now this person wants to come in and they want to, they want to, you know, oh, God, I feel so sorry for me, uh, Aries. I, I've been doing so bad. I didn't mean to hurt you. And Aries, it's completely up to you what you want to do. But I want to believe a, a fucking shit thing this person says. I mean, if you look at this picture, this guy looks like he's looking at this woman like, you're joking. You're not even serious. You know, you can't even look me in the eye. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Now this person wants to come in and work on something now that you've ended things with them and you're trying to get to know someone else. They're concerned because you're starting to love yourself, but they don't want you to love yourself because they don't love themselves. They're, they're concerned because you have respect coming your way. And with that respect, you're going to have some true love come in too if it's not already here. From the community. And the community is also going to see this person for who the hell they are. Let's get um, a clarifier spirit for uh, community. Oh, that was quick. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Three of pentacles in the reverse. This person fucked with the community. Community pussy. Community vagina. Community penis. Whatever you want to call it. This is clarifying the community. The community knew about this third party situation that had went down with you guys, okay? I'm sorry to say that, you guys. Uh -uh. I'm going to move these down a little bit. Yeah, they knew. The community knew. It was a public disrespect. It wasn't a silent one. It was publicly, okay? You might have found something online, your mom or somebody or cousins, brothers. Someone saw something and they ended up, yeah... It, Wow, that's kind of weird. Yeah, this person's in, in prison, in imprisonment in their own fucking mind because they didn't see this coming, you see? Yeah, okay. They didn't see this coming. This false person was in your life for a reason. They're showing you what you don't want to have in the future. But this person sure don't want you to have your true love and they don't want you loving yourself. Look at that, how crazy that is. These two cards in the reverse. True love and love yourself first. They don't want you to have that. Clarify the community is the three of pentacles in the reverse. Third party. Third party. Could have been with your friends. Could have even been with your damn family members. This person, this false ass person tried to show up as if they were just, 
king shit. You know what I mean? Like as if they they they, they don't have no type of um, you know they're slowly coming back though. They're 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 gonna come back if they're not reached out to you yet. Oh yeah, Aries, be prepared. This person's not gonna let you be happy. They don't want you to. They don't want to let go. They don't want this ending. See, when they had this, when you had this ending with this person, you were supposed to come back. You weren't supposed to really, oh, dip off and leave and start getting respected. No. I feel some of you have your have your money in check here, um, Aries. Some of you got things going good for yourself. And this person can feel it and they hate it. What do we have for high honor here, Spirit? Anything here for high honor? Anything here for high honor? Anything here for high honor? For high honor. Okay, I try to shuffle that way and this this doesn't work for me. I gotta learn. I gotta learn how to shuffle my cards different. I like to try new things. High honor spirit. What's here for high honor? What do we have here, spirit, for high honor? What is this high honor here, spirit? What is high honor here, spirit? Aries, you're gonna you're, you're you're gonna have a choice to make, a fat choice, because this person gonna come in and try to swoon you off your feet because this person doesn't want you loving yourself and they see your true love trying to come in, but they're they're trying to make sure they're trying to block this, they're trying to block your self love, okay? They're trying to block your self love that you have for self, and they're trying to um. Yeah, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You're clear now on this situation. You're clear on this individual. You know exactly what they're doing. To come out for the um, high honor is the magician in the upright. Okay? You are manifesting, Aries. You're manifesting. After this person puts you in a third party with a fake ass with the community, this three of pentacles in the reverse says just that. The community knows about this, and they were also doing third parties within your community disgusting motherfucker you got you got somebody that's nasty on your hands but you want to keep them around and i don't know why i'm getting that for some of you areas you you still pondering over this individual and what for i don't get why you want somebody's that's for the community for the streets this person is false they come off as if they're sweet innocent kind you know like they do no wrong they do plenty of fucking wrong they just do it behind this fucking this fucking fan here. They do it to where you can't see. They check out other individual partners, and the partners that they get involved with mask themselves too because they know they ain't got no business with this Jezebel. They know it. They know that this false person is supposed to be belonging with someone else. They know, and she knows too, so uh-uh. We can't be seen in public. This person would treat you like that. They treat you and leave you in the back, the background, Aries. While they sat up there being false around other people as if they weren't with you, okay? That's why they were able to get other... They were able to share their nasty privates with other people, you know? You can't work with this person, and neither do you want to. Some of you don't. Some of you still want this person back, and hey, that's your will. But I'm telling you right now, some of you are really, really in your, in your beast mode. And when I say beast mode, I mean that you're cutting shit clean, smooth, dry off. People that are no longer serving your life's path. People that are just here to try to derail you off of it. They gotta go. You're manifesting. You're getting respected by spirit, by your ancestors, because you walked away from the situation. You, people have no idea how hard it was, Aries, for you to walk away from this person. And many of you did it silently. That is what is hurting this person as well. You didn't give them any argument. You didn't give them no cursing back and forth and screaming and throwing stuff. Now, some of you probably did. Okay, I'm not saying you didn't. I'm not saying that you're perfect and you have to be because you don't. I'm not perfect. Sometimes I will throw dishes. <laughs> the plastic ones. But I won't throw them at my biggest little fiance. I, I would never do that to him. I used to do that with other people. That would make me unhappy. But what I was stating um, is... This person is, you're manifesting and you're getting respect because people see you manifesting the things you want, the things you desire. The people that said you can't, they're respecting you now. This community that said you can't is respecting you now. This community that saw this false person, 
that said all this bullshit, this false person that's been around to the community and people you may know, your friends, your family, people like that, they may not be in close contact with you of how you've done them wrong. This person's false. They're false, Aries. I'm sorry. And if you're cross watching, come on in. Have a seat. Enjoy yourself. Maybe Aries did this to you. Take it as it resonates. Take it as it resonates. What is this message of concern, Spirit? Uh, where's that card at? Okay. What is this message of concern? Thank you. <laughs> the Six of Pentacles. Aries, if this does not scream, this person is very look at look at the look at how she has her hand up, up against her chest looking at this letter. Message of concern. This person is is seeing that you're loving yourself. And back then we would probably use paper. Now we've got so much electronic shit now. This is someone looking at their laptop, their MacBook, or their cell phone, their iPhone. Android doesn't matter. Somebody's looking at something and they're concerned because they're getting a message that from someone else. They're getting the message or they're seeing the clear message that you're moving forward in your life. You're loving yourself and uh, unfortunately they don't want you doing that. That's not supposed to happen, Aries. You are the magician. You can touch. You can feel whatever you want to happen in this reality, in this life. You can have it. This person kept you stifled to where they believed you only needed them to get the things you wanted to get while they sat there and abused and used you. Fuck that. No. This person is highly concerned because they bitch ass is getting left in the motherfucking cold. Why? Because they be giving to two motherfucking people. Maybe even more. This doesn't have to be two people giving to two people. It's breadcrumbing. Because they probably give it away to the whole damn community. Look at this. We got the three pentacles in the reverse, clarifying the community. This person's got community private parts. Everybody's sticking in it, or everybody's fucking laying and getting piped down by it. It's gross. It's gross. They're concerned because they got caught up giving to different multiple people, and they don't want you loving yourself. Now that you're loving yourself, oh my god, this is, oh man. Aries is loving themselves. What do I do? Well, maybe I can just do what I did before, but make sure I'm more strategic about it. I can give them a little bit, Aries a little bit, and the person that I'm kind of with a little bit, you know? Because I am concerned. They're getting respect now. Aries can't have that. They can't have that self-love. I've got to be the one to, to show them that I'm the one they need. Get, man, get on away from this person. This person's got some problems. Look, Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This person sees you happy. This person sees you loving yourself. And they see true love coming in. And what are they trying to do? They're trying to block it. You sit here trying to manifest. And this person's sitting here trying to manipulate. It's going both ways. You're manifesting. You're getting respect because you're starting a new path. You're seeing yourself for who you truly are. And this person's, manif this person's manipulating, man trying to manipulate you so you don't have true love come in. They want to come in and love bomb you and shit. That's what they want to do because they see that you're about to get here. If you're not already here, they see you're about to get here. This person could be getting readings on you, all kinds of shit. Y'all dealing with the weird-ass person. Coffin, okay? Um, spirit, this Ace of Swords came out in the reverse, but I didn't ask Spirit anything. But it came out in the reverse. This person doesn't know how to communicate. They don't know how to express their emotions. Um, this person is a, a child in a grown-up's body. And I think you're getting tired of it, Aries. I think you're getting tired of putting up with it. I really do. You get tired of having to fucking babysit. Somebody that's capable to go to the bathroom on their own. Somebody that's capable to get up and get get some work done. Get the house clean at least. This person may not even want to do that. They like to go get their makeup on and shit and go party and shit. With these senseless ass motherfuckers that don't give a fuck about them. You mark my words. They don't. That's why there's this message of concern too. Because them trying to get at the community and everybody else but you. While you sat there patiently waiting for them to give to you, they're giving to everybody else. Everybody else is chumps. That's what they are. And they're starting to, oh my God, Aries really is worth my time. No, bitch. No. You're not going to come in and just start saying, no, 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 no. No. I said no, okay? With your community ass. I, 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 no, no. False ass community. No. No. Now people in the community respect you, Aries, because they see who you truly are. 
they're starting to see this person as being toxic. See, you made up your mind. This is, oh, sorry, this is clarifying the coffin. And to get to know each other uh, in the upright. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, the bond deepens. You made up your mind about this ending with this person. They're concerned about this ending because they're starting to see that you are turning your back. You're not waiting on them. You're not, you're, you're not, you're not dealing with this. Guys, look, let me tell you something. There is like two threes here. All right. No. Wow. Okay. I'm going to also look at these numbers on these cards. One, two, three. Okay. Four, five. This person likes to get around and the community card is out here. Oh man. Come on. Y'all dealing with a nasty ass. Y'all dealing with somebody that's nasty. Oh, anywho, you made up your mind about this ending. You're not going back. You don't want to. You want to shut this out. Some of you, like I said, you will go back. You will learn the lesson yet again because this person's false. They don't like to tell the truth. They'll be damned if they tell you the truth. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Six of Cups in the reverse. This person don't give you fond memories. This person don't, you give me butterfly. No. You give me the runs, motherfucker. That's what you give me. I feel like going to the bathroom, throwing up, or coming out on the other end. I don't know which one. But your ass being so damn unfaithful and me finding out you messing with all these third-party situations. You going out, hanging out. You know, you get so messed up. You, you sleep with different men. I don't even fucking know the half of it. I only know what I've been told or what you were allowed to share with me. What you wanted to share with me. But you're not going to give me the real ugly details. No, because you know what? You a hoe. You're going to look like a hoe when I find this shit out. So, yeah, keep the details to yourself. Go on ahead and do it. I got my clarity. All I need to know is that you didn't value me. When you took your clothes off and were with, with other people, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting heavy third-party energy here. And I do mean people, family, friends, other lovers. This person has an ex that just is just... They stay so clawed together and they're so toxic together that they actually go together. They feel like they're meant for each other, but they also, this person feels like you're meant for them too, Aries. Whatever the fuck that means. But you've made up your mind. Someone here has made up their mind, the two of swords in reverse, that they're ending something so they can start getting to know somebody a bit better. Because them leaving this open, this ending here, is not going to work here to get to know this person. This person's going to feel this person's energy for God. For a lot of you guys, this person that you did, this new person, is very intuitive. So try your best not to lie to them, because I think they already smell this person in your energy. Six of, eight of pentacles in the reverse. You no longer want to work on this. Look, it says give your partnership a chance. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. This person's in bad health because they want to come in and they want to work on this. Now they're so full of headaches, anxiety, night sweats, nightmares, sitting up all night, walking up and down the halls and shit. They're in bad health. Why? Because you have made the decision about an ending. You're getting to know somebody else. You are manifesting your love, the true love that you're meant to be with. And this person is seeing you being respected by others. You done probably got a pay raise. You done probably got a nice little crib. Hey, you could be a roommate with somebody. It does not matter. I don't care what your occupation is. It's not my business. I don't care if you're fucking scrubbing fucking desks for a living. Whatever the fuck you're doing, this person is seeing that they're not being a part of it and they want to be so bad. Bad health doesn't have to be necessarily something terrible like a deadly or terminal disease. It could mean something as sleepless nights, not, not getting good rest, not purifying and hydrating yourself, you know, not even really basically showering and bathing and washing the crack of your ass because you're so upset. You want to make this work now, but someone here does not want to work this out no more. Right on the bad health and right on the give your partnership a chance. Someone here wants to and another does not. So that ain't going to go that. That ain't going to go well. And, and some of you, both of you might want to, but that's not what I'm feeling. If that's what you're wanting to do, this probably is not your, this is probably not for you. Spirit, give me false person here. Give me false person here, spirit. False person. What's this false person here, spirit, please? And thank you. We love you, universe. Thank you so much for these messages. What is this false person here, Spirit? I'll give us one card, Spirit. Just one. One card. Who is this false person? Thank you. Well, I got two cards. First one, King of Wands in the upright. Then we got, oh, I got three cards. We got the Page of Cups. Okay. And then we got the Eight of Swords in the reverse. 
This person likes to keep you in your head. They're coming around because they are false. They need you to validate them. Okay, Aries? This, you could be dealing with someone as yourself, an Aries, Leo, Sag, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I don't pay attention to signs. I really don't. <laughs> you know why, if you've been on my channel long enough. This person, this is clarifying false person, okay? This person here actually wants to sit there and come in to your life and pretend like they want to be around you because they see you in king or queen status now. Before they saw you as page material, okay? You used to let this person come in with cup-ass offers. You used to, and now you're getting out of your mind. You're getting out of your the imprisonment. Remember saw that card at the bottom of the deck here? Imprisonment? This person's going to be wrapped up in their damn head over time, okay? This is clarifying the false person. Someone sees you being confident. They want to come in and offer you that small ass cup like they always fucking do with that little tiny ass fish. I can't fry that shit. Who's going to eat? The ants? That ain't fair. Shit. You know what I mean? And then this Eight of Swords in the reverse. You're coming out of that mental conflict about this false, fake ass person. You're starting to see shit for what it is now. This person used to keep you in your head. Am I good enough? Am, you know, am I worthy to be in this person's presence? No. Because this person's non-committal. They don't want to commit to you. They don't want to commit to other people. They want to be out there for the streets. And you better watch it because this person, look, this is what they make you feel. They make you feel so drained. Nothing's growing here. Nothing's growing. Page of swords in reverse. Someone getting the, the wrong information and going back and telling some other shit. Gossiping. Look, ace of wands in the reverse. No passion here for this fucker. I mean, <laughs> sorry, but they, yet they want to rush in. With some truth. Oh, I love you. My heart hurts. Do what you want, Aries. But I would just... Bye-bye. That's what I would do. Mm. That would be me. Doesn't have to be you. Let's see what needs to be surrendered in this situation. Spirit, tell me what needs to be surrendered with Aries here. What needs to be surrendered so they can move on and do what they need to do? Or whatever they want to do. What needs to be surrendered, Spirit? What do they need to surrender for my Aries, Leo? Not Leo, but um, my Aries, <laughs> Sun and Rising and Venus. What do they need to surrender at this time? Sometimes I get stuff out of it when I do it like crazy, but I'm so afraid of bending my cards. Spirit saying, grab in the middle. Got this one. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Spirit be getting on me, guys. Sometimes. Surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. This person's bringing back drama. That's what they want. They're third parties and nasty ass. Ugh. This person, ha this person probably has crusty panties. I'm not even joking you. I feel strong and feminine presence. Like this girl here makes it look all on the outside like she's got it all together and she... She or he does not. It could be he too. I'm just saying I get a different vibe when I go places. I, I always say that. And then when I get a different... I, I'll, I'll mention my vibes that I'm getting. And here I'm getting the vibe that this person is still sticking around. They want to bring back drama to you. They're, look, they're concerned. They're in bad health. Oh no, you know. And now that you done put all that work in... Now, and you done gave up. You done like, man, I done gave you the last fucking piece of chicken out of my bucket. You can't have nothing else. I ain't got nothing else to give you. I'm going to move on and go on and go buy, buy my own bucket of chicken. <laughs> I know you guys, it sounds fucked up, but really, that's what I feel. Surrender to your soul's path, Aries. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment, Aries. Embrace this this. You breaking away from these people, this person. <laughs> Surrender to soul's path. You, you have growth coming. This person doesn't want you to grow. They want to keep you in third parties. Ew, they stink. Surrender your ego. Cultivate gratitude. Be of service to others and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. So whether that's you, Aries, working from a big ego, which I highly doubt, I believe it's this person because the, the card that I, 
Excuse me, guys. <sighs> yeah, this person's boring as shit. I'm, I just yawned. <laughs> and I'm not tired. No. Anywho, this person needs to surrender to, to the surrender their ego. They're acting and running around, acting like they're the shit, and they can have whoever they want. But right now, they're about to lose the let. They're, they're used to. They're about to lose the best person that's ever had the best intentions for them in their life. And that is you, Aries. And quit doubting yourself that that's you because it is you. They're about to lose someone really special because of this fat ego. Surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. Look at that. It's time to stop procrastinating. Get this motherfucker out of your energy. You need to. If you want to get to know somebody else, get out of this person's energy. This person doesn't want to release you. That's the problem. But Spirit's saying, release to release to the drama. Release, surrender the drama. And they're also saying, surrender fear. Okay? Surrender the habit of people pleasing. Yes. Surrender worry. Look at this. My dear Aries, there's nothing to worry about. You're going to be just fine. You're just used to being stuck in this shit. And you're going to get out this hellhole. That's for sure. Okay? So, Aries, that's what I have for you, my loves. Take whatever resonates. Leave what doesn't. Okay? A, a, a very person that was in and out of your life, swimming in and out, doing what they want. They're coming back for most of you. And they've, gotta, they've been taking so long to come back because they're ashamed in front of the community what they did to you. After you've done so much for this person, you'll figure out the rest, Aries. I promise you will. I love you guys so very much. Please like, share, subscribe. I'm grateful for the thumbs up. I'm grateful for the thumbs down. At least you viewed it, okay? <laughs> um, thank you so much, you guys, for being here. I greatly appreciate you. Um, I hope that you have a beautiful, fantastic Wednesday. You stay clear. You stay clear-headed, clear-minded. Enjoy your soul's path. Surrender to it. And let this person stay with their ego. They're going to have to let go of that on their own. You can't make someone do something they don't want to do. Okay, my beautiful Tauruses, you just can't. But I love every one of you. I do. You guys are the bomb. Okay? I hope that you have a beautiful day, my loves. Thank you so much. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you.